no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net it's almost the anniversary of the day the global protest called Occupy began in Zuccotti Park in Lower Manhattan. The anniversary of the date the people first said, enough. Enough with the politicians enriching themselves while the bankers salivate over the blaze that once was the average American family. This is horseshit. This is bullshit. This is the shit of many different types of animals. Unless the plan to stop this is to get Wall Street drooling so heavily that their saliva accidentally puts out the flames they themselves lit, then no one anywhere is trying to turn this con game around. One year ago on September 17th, Occupy changed the conversation in this country. Before Occupy, the conversation was, how can we make the working man work a little harder? How can we cut the social safety net a little more, even though it already has more holes in it than Mitt Romney's tax returns? How can we continue to bail out the biggest banks? How can we decrease the tax burden on the people who already have so much money, they hire a guy to rub scented oils on the ass crack of the guy they hired to rub scented oils on them? That's where we were before the most powerful protest movement in a generation turned it all around. But now the doubters of the corporate media tell us that Occupy lost the battle. You're goddamn right we lost the battle. We're legions of people armed only with ideas, going up against pepper spray, concussion grenades, false arrests, and the wealthiest, most powerful people this nation and perhaps the world has ever seen. Is it a big surprise the titans of dickery didn't just surrender the moment we showed up with a bullhorn and some free Ben and Jerry's? Did anyone think they would come crawling out of the stock exchange waving white flags going, You're right! We make billions by slaughtering millions! A better world is possible! One where people don't have to starve to death so that I can take a helicopter to work every morning! Besides, the helicopter traffic has gotten pretty bad. I've started helicopter pooling to work so that we can use the HOV lane. It's not even worth it anymore. Was that a big shock to anyone? We lost this battle, but this war will go on until the last informed soul on this planet is either killed or caged. They say money never sleeps, never tires, and they might be right. But at least from what I've seen, neither does hope. This is a long game, so grab a large soda, a bag of Tostitos, and some spray-on nacho cheese. We're just getting started. On this anniversary of Occupy, there's the people and there's the money. If you haven't already, pick a side. 90% of the world is still sitting on the benches. Get in the game. That was, that was a sports analogy. I mean, you, you probably got it, but they, they have benches on the sides of the field. If you haven't gotten it, you're not going to get it. I'm, ne never mind. That's been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. This Occupy anniversary, look up what's going on in your neighborhood, in your area, in your city, and fucking get down there. Also, uh, on a separate note, if you'd like to play Moment of Clarity on your podcast, radio show, web series, whatever, uh, just email me at leecampmail, M-A-I-L, at gmail.com. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.